2004 World Juggling Federation Championships from Las Vegas, Nevada. The score for Volga and Olga Galchenko, 9.95. The World Juggling Federation Championships, bringing you the world's best technical juggling competitions from Las Vegas, Nevada. The United States, Russia, Germany, Wales, England, and Japan competing against each other for the 2005 championship. Get ready for the best technical juggling on the planet. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2005 World Juggling Federation Championships. I'm John Wee. And I'm Owen Morrison. Tonight, we're going to watch the best of the Advanced Club Competition Finals. What's been proven in every other sport is that once you put a skill into a competition format, you see the skill level increase. Competition pushes competitors to become the best that they can become. So through the WJF competitions, this has already been proven to be the case with juggling as well. A lot of jugglers now are pushing themselves harder, and I believe it's because of the WJF. Look at Thomas' skill level this year compared to last year. Boba's skill level, I mean, last year he couldn't juggle seven clubs at all. You know, and now he's working on uh, seven club 360s. <laughs> Only five up, but <laughs> So, you know, by providing a venue that acknowledges our competitors and doesn't allow, you know, contact juggling or poi to beat them, they have a reason to train a reason to get better and a reason to compete, because they'll know that if they demonstrate the best juggling, they'll win.
They've come from all over the world. Russia, Germany, Wales, Norway, the United States. Assembling here in Las Vegas all with the same objective. All with the same dedication to their sport. This only happens once a year. Who will overcome the obstacles? And who will crack under the pressure? After years of training, now, in just a few moments, they will compete against each other in WJF3, the 2006 World Juggling Federation Overall Champion. Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2006 World Juggling Federation Championships. I'm John Wee. And I'm Owen Morse. And this year, we're going to show you the entire circuit of events these athletes compete in for a shot at the overall championship.
<laughs> as soon as he starts wearing it, then it's an even match at least. Normally you need to back up so. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jason Garfield. This is the 2007 World Juggling Federation Training Camp. Bob is teaching a 180s and 360s workshop right now. We started yesterday and um, we have a little over 35 people here, I think 35 to 40 people. Today is the junior competitions, junior overall championship. We're doing all of the competitions in one day. Uh, so we're going to start off with uh, endurance, isolated endurance, endurance, 360s and freestyle competitions. Then tonight at 7, they're going to have to go through their full compulsory programs. Then tomorrow the intermediates are going to do the exact same thing. In between all of that we have workshops of 6x4, 180s and 360s today and tonight the ethics of juggling. My name is Vova Galchenko, I am from Penza, Russia. I'm at the 2007 World Juggling Federation training camp. I'm Bart Hoving, I'm from Zwolle, Netherlands, and right now I'm at the 2007 WJF training camp. I'm Ayn Tatum Hurst from Richfield, Washington. I'm Vinnie Hill from Warren, Texas. I'm Laura Ernst, I am from Iowa. I'm living in Syracuse, New York right now, and I'm juggling. My name is Josh Horton, I'm from Malibu, California. I am in Las Vegas at the World Juggling Federation Intermediate Overall Championships and training camp. I am Michael Falcoff. I'm from Miami. I live in Albuquerque. I'm Jonathan Condor from Carson City. My name is Clark Surrey. I'm from Carlsbad, California. I'm Caleb Condor from uh, Carson City, Nevada. My name is Olga Karavaira and I'm from Russia. I'm Robin Johnston. I'm from Santa Cruz. I'm Noah Malone. I'm from Syracuse. I'm Matthew, and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm Doug Sayers. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Rosh, uh, originally from Iran, and I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm Brian Decker. I'm from Washington, D.C. I'm uh, Lamar Yoder. I'm from Topeka, Indiana. I'm Freeland. I'm from Mexico City.
that this is just ridiculous. If you can do yeah. it on a chair, you can you can do it a lot better overall. As far as I'm concerned, Arash is king of the 540s and 540 connections. Yeah, Brady is rock solid. Thomas has announced that he's retiring from competition after this year. So what you're about to see should be the last competition he ever enters. 8x6. Oh, nice. Oh, Connected to a half shot. Beautiful. Yep. Daniel Eager doing the move that Thomas Dietz couldn't do. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, good. Oh, my fine. goodness. I can't <laughs> believe I just saw that. This is interesting. This is four club half spin. Which is really nice looking from yeah. the side. I, I wouldn't think to do that, but it looks great. Toby has one of the most outrageous 180 multiplex. I hope we're going to see oh, it Oh, this here. one here. The uh, shoulder fill yeah. multiplex. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there it is. John Brady just kind of came out of nowhere this yeah. year and just came with like a, a pretty solid seven club pattern. Yeah, I hadn't seen much of him before and certainly didn't know he was juggling at this level. He's a machine. much about all the tricks that the juniors can do that we can't. Three clubs, three up, three sixty. Look at the control. The <laughs> yes. club is almost as yeah. tall as he That's is. amazing. That's a nice one. Uh, yeah. I call that a super pancake pull down. The first throw of the pull down was the pancake throw. Wow. Five up, six x four, three sixty. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Harness it. Fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Oh, you just want to root for him, don't you? And the boy can well count. Done. Yes. Those spins are so natural, it almost seems like when he's not spinning, he's trying not to spin. <laughs> just harnessing the spin energy in between. Right. Like, almost like a video game where you have to power up. After three years off from the women's division, Olga Galchenko. Last year's women's club division champion, Laura Ernst. But can she win in Las Vegas? The powerhouse from Switzerland, Joelle Ugana. Wow. That's really nice looking. Oh, and all five go up. Look at that. 360. And a singles. Yeah. That's impressive.
Welcome to MLC4, the fourth Major League Combat Tournament from the Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's been a week-long event at the 6th Annual World Juggling Federation Convention. We've had multitudinous juggling competitions, but right now it's time to see the MLC players in action. We started out with four teams. Team Passing Zone. Possibly fans of the movie Dodgeball. Team Babash, entering with Panage and sponsored by Mr. Babash. Team Duncan, sponsored by Duncan Toys and Team Play, sponsored by Play Juggling. Right now, we'd like to take you back to witness the highlights from MLC4. Live from Springfield, Illinois, it's the World Juggling Federation Freestyle Battle on ESPN3. The dress code is freestyle. The rules are street rules. Make it, take it, or crash and burn. Forget about deductions. Don't be afraid to drop. This is about those special moments when the competitors land their Snuffleupagus tricks. The tricks we've all heard about, but no one has ever seen live. Now it's their chance to show the extreme limits of their abilities, pushing themselves farther than they would ever dare in any critically scrutinized short program routine. No uniforms, no routine forms, no belligerent b -jury. We're dragging these freestyle jugglers off the street and into our freestyle battle arena for the most intense, electrifying, temerarious display of edge of your seat juggling intensity. This is the World Juggling Federation Freestyle Battle! Get ready, folks, because this summer we are all going to be into the hottest new game out there, Combat Juggling. <laughs> Now, I know combat juggling sounds complicated, so let me break it down for you. It's juggling plus combat. <laughs> Live from Springfield, Illinois, it's the Major League Combat Finals on ESPN3. A five-on-five -five elimination tournament team deathmatch featuring the most deadly men to ever yield a club. Three clubs each, 30 clubs in total, 10 combatants, five methods of combat. They're putting it all on the line for the 2011 championships, and you're about to see it happen in front of your eyes, live. These are the two remaining teams who have survived the quarter and semifinals. The best natural selection has to offer. The most evolved, deadly, predatorially superior teams, and they are about to lock horns against each other for the first time right now. This is Major League Combat! Competitors from all over the world have gathered here at the Sioux Falls Arena in beautiful Sioux Falls, South Dakota. We have seen some unbelievable feats of juggling this week, and we're going to see more tonight. Great to have you joining us. I'm Mike Henriksen. And hi, I'm Scotty Meltzer, and tonight we're going to see the advanced short programs and the finals of Major League Combat. Coordination. Dexterity. Speed. Strength. Endurance and dedication. These competitors have been pushed to their limits in a series of competitions that are as much a battle against themselves as they are against each other. It's been one year since they've seen each other in competition, and now they're back faster, stronger, and more determined than ever. This is the culmination of a new year of training, the accumulated score from 30 events. Endurance. Freestyle. 360s.
and the isolated endurance. They come from all over the world. They train in seclusion, practicing millions of throws, preparing for the annual World Juggling Federation Overall Championship. You'll find them practicing on basketball courts, in racquetball courts, refining their trajectory and timing, spacing and symmetry, speed and accuracy. The competitor scores from this week-long event have been tallied, but the highest scoring events are still to come. Now, they will face their final test live in the World Juggling Federation Ball, Ring and Club Short Programs. This is the main event. Live from the Sioux Falls Arena, it's the Major League Combat Finals on ESPN3. A five on five elimination tournament team death match featuring the most deadly men to ever yield a club. Three clubs each, 30 clubs in total, 10 combatants, five methods of combat. They're putting it all on the line for the 2012 Championships, and you're about to see it happen in front of your eyes, live. These will be the world's most dominating combat players the best natural selection has to offer. The most evolved, deadly, predatorially superior teams, and they're about to lock horns against each other for the first time right now. This is Major League Combat! SkillCon, you ask? SkillCon is a convergence of alternate and mainstream skills and sports that form one massive skills convention. You get the idea. Every skill game or sport can find a place at SkillCon. Esports, tabletop games, booth space, breakout rooms, stages, courts, it's all there. You just have to show up, bring your players, run your events, and then wipe your hands clean. Join SkillCon. Leave the event planning to us so you can focus on your tournament. Welcome to the 2014 World Juggling Federation Overall Championship from SkillCon. Over the course of this eight-day convention, we've seen some of the best in the world competing in over 20 different events. From sign spinning to b-boy dancing, flare bartending, yo-yo, finger tutting, esports, badminton, cornhole, and sepak takla. SkillCon is the World Juggling Federation's destination for their 10th annual series of juggling competitions. Get ready to see the best jugglers in the world square off against each other for the largest first place cash prize ever awarded in juggling competition history. The big story this year is Germany's Thomas Dietz coming out of retirement after six years. He was the undefeated overall champion four years in a row from 2005 to 2008. Does he still have what it takes now at 32 years old? He's up against the 2012 overall champ, Doug Sayers, and the 2013 champ, Jonah Bopinick Greenhouse, the youngest overall champ in history at just 14 years old, now 15. Neither of these overall champions have ever competed against each other, so this is going to be a battle of champions.
First up in the five ball short program, Thomas Dietz. I love the fact that uh, he can be that good and that sloppy. This is Jonah Botman at Greenhouse. Look at how smooth his throws his are. His form's perfect. Doug has the most difficult and never ending sequences of connections I've ever seen. Yeah, right in the middle of the connection, he did a 360. Just to show the connection was too easy for him. You know, I'm, I've told you this before, Jason, but I don't like 360s. I think, I think they're not part of the juggling. Here's Christian Houseshield. He's already juggling seven clubs better than most, and at 17 years old, that is an accomplishment. Yeah, at, at 60, that's an accomplishment. <laughs> His tricks look the best to me. Doug Sayers just might become the first person in history to defeat Thomas Dietz. 3F360 Three in a full reverse and back to a full reverse. Look at those flat Whoa. throws. I have never seen anybody do that. Back crosses with rings. When Thomas is juggling, you know it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> From SkillCon at the soon-to-be-imploded Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, an incredible eight days of skills and events and the first-ever $7,000 prize being awarded to a juggler. This is the sport of combat juggling, an aggressive form of object manipulation combined with debilitating attacks. Each player must maintain control over three clubs at all times. In sumo combat, the objective is to destroy your opponent by slashing their clubs to the ground or shoving them out of the sumo circle. In breach, 30 clubs are in motion at the start of each round, but only one player needs to maintain control until they reach the breach zone. Here is Sayers trying to lock up the arm of Ben Thompson on the right as two of his own clubs trying to steal now. Two-point advantage, 14 parallels. You know, the temptation to just smash the other guy in the face must be overwhelming. Quick attempt by Josh Horton. Horton dove in. Lauga Benjaminson was waiting for him. Four consecutive points now for Team Intel in yellow. Lauga Benjaminson, who had six in a row. Last time Team Parallel scored was with Lauga in the middle. Lauga grabbing for Schmeisner's club, not able to get it. Schmeisner diving in with the right hand and loses one of his own as Lauga goes down to a knee and stays in for Parallel. Big hat move there. What a play by Joe Showers. That is aggressive move up the court by Joe Showers. Lauga Benjaminson waiting on defense. He has been defensive force today for Team Parallels. And here comes Schmeiser with plenty of room cleared. Benjaminson with a last second attempt. Still a handful of active defenders for Team Intel. Making life difficult for Dominic Harant. A strong move up the right side. Harant in trouble. A battle now between Schmeisner and Benjaminson. Look at Noah just destroying people. And I think he just took out three people all by himself. Welcome to the UMBA 2015 World Juggling Federation Advanced Overall Championship. I'm Jeff Savillico. I, along with Penn Gillette and Jason Garfield, will be your host over the next hour of the largest sport juggling event of the year. The 2015 World Juggling Federation Overall Championship. The world's most prestigious sport juggling competition. This year's top three fighters, Spencer Androly, Delaney Bayless, and returning 2013 overall champion Jonah Botvinnik Greenhouse. A battle for the ultimate title and held at SkillCon, the ultimate skill convention. Featuring combat juggling, sepak takra, yo-yo, fencing, cornhole, speed cube solving, and power lifting. The results from all these competitions will unfold in real time as the World Juggling Federation inducts the top sport juggler of 2015.
Sniper's chance to win the set while he's serving. He forces Beer Vampire down to the ground and wins the set. Here once again we see Sniper dominates the game. And you can see the love each competitor has, not only for the sport, but looking out for each other in a match like this. It's a wonderful thing to see. They've not just got to face each other, they have to last through this match and then go on to the finals. So you can imagine most of these competitors taking a more conservative approach. Beer Vampire licking his chops right now. Falk takes a dive, hits the floor, gets right back up, and a nice hand slap between one player to another. So, Sniper Short wins game one against Beer Vampire. This is a best of three, so Vampire still has a chance to advance to the finals. Game two coming up soon. I'll be back later on for the Rock, Paper, Scissors Las Vegas Pro-Am Grand Prix. But right now, the World Juggling Federation's advanced competitions are about to get started on the expo stage. So I will leave you for now in the capable hands of Las Vegas juggler extraordinaire, Jeff Savillico. Thanks, Master Rosh. We are just moments away from the final three competitions of the Advanced Overall Championship. You can see our competitors warming up here, about to take on the Advanced Short Programs, first with five balls, then five rings, then five clubs. Welcome back to the Moxie Games. I'm joined once again by Adam Candy, which means we got some commentating to do. In this special edition of the Moxie Games, oh! Dodgeball meets Juggler in the world premiere of Team Dodge Juggle Protect and the International Bottle Flipping Syndicate's yeah! World Championship. You're watching a Dodge Juggle Special Edition on the Moxie Games. Welcome to the WJF Overall Advanced Championships. We're going to be going through the endurance competitions, the isolated endurance competitions, the freestyle competitions, and then the ball, ring, and club short programs.
Games are coming to Las Vegas this December at the Rio Hotel for their fifth annual event. Witness the best in the world at combat juggling, sapatakra, no! speed cube solving, lightsaber fencing, cornhole, dodge juggle, oh my goodness, bodybuilding, and learn from the best of the world in a variety of beginner level workshops and watch exhibitions and performances all at SkillCon. Register today at skillcon.org. Lightsaber fencing! We now are going to shift our focus back to the Expo stage, where the World Juggling Federation right, overall back, championship please. is about to begin. I'm going on break to get my grub on, but here to guide you through the sport of competitive juggling is World Juggling Federation President Jason Garfield and Ivan Passell. Thanks, Adam. I am Jason Garfield, president of the multi-billion dollar international sport juggling organization known as the World Juggling Federation. Joining me is retired WJF competitor Ivan Passell. Thank you, Jason. It's, it's great to be back. Yeah. Well, if juggling were in the Olympics, this is what you'd be seeing. You know, there's been so much misinformation about juggling spread all over the world for centuries. As you know, Ivan Passell, one of my main goals in creating the World Juggling Federation was to show that difficult juggling does not involve fire, knives, chainsaws, bowling balls, or juggling while eating an apple. Because, you know, they're only doing three of them. Yeah, but... And maybe they're just really good at eating apples. I mean, look, does this look difficult? Yum, yum, yum. Nom nom nom. I'm not actually going to eat them on camera because you know chewing noises and misophonia, but you get the point. Now, if you want to see what real difficult juggling looks like, do not change the channel. An international lineup of the world's best jugglers, judged mercilessly, scrutinized down to the very core of their abilities, is about to hit the ocho hard. Hard like a hammer. You take a picture and I might take your camera. I also created all the rules. Rules with the sole purpose being to make it as difficult as possible to earn a perfect score. Now that I do remember. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, a full hour of team dodge juggle. A sport you invented. We don't have to mention that. All right. I'm Jason Garfield. I'm joined by John Wee and Owen Morse, collectively known as the Passing Zone. We are. And together as a team, we are going to serve as your ambassadors for the sport of Team Dodge Juggle. Now we have an eight team Dodge Juggle tournament just bursting at the seams. In some cases, literally. Yeah, apparently it's not a big calorie burner. Well, I mean, you have to do it at least more than once a year. I suppose. But all you at home have to do is keep your channel locked in on the Ocho, keep your eyes open, and get ready for Dodge Juggle 3. Revenge of the Dodge Juggle. Las Vegas, the microbial petri dish where the sport of dodge juggle was conceived. Where else can you throw your balls at a juggler and not be sent to the principal's office? A sport where being the best raises more questions that start with the word why rather than how. A sport where hits to the head are severely penalized and heavily encouraged. And a sport more viral than fake news, cat videos, and super gonorrhea combined. Live from Las Vegas, this is Dodge Juggle 3, Revenge of the Dodge Balls. Brought to you by the Passing Zone. He makes for a huge target when you're throwing at him, but when you can't throw at him, you're in big trouble. I'm happy. 
happy. The World Juggling Federation, the world's only sport juggling organization. Founded at the turn of the century, the World Juggling Federation provided sport jugglers their first opportunity to compete on national TV at their first international event in Las Vegas. Since that time, sport jugglers' skills have increased exponentially. From Thomas Dietz, Volga Galchenko, Doug Sayers, Lauga Benjaminson, Jack Denger, and many more. The sport juggling movement has taken the world by storm. Now in its 15th year, sport jugglers will be challenged with outdoor weather conditions. The wind, the sun, the rain, the moon, the stars and the mountains, the very molecules flying through the air can have a deleterious effect on the jugglers' hands and eyes. Who will surmount the insurmountable odds and take the WJF overall championship for their country? WJF head judge Josh Horton, along with his constituents Olga and Vova Galchenko, will determine their fate in this first ever WJF event. Container Park in downtown Las Vegas. Two full days of weird and fun viral sports comes to a close, and even with rock, paper, scissors, we still have donuts to spare. This has been Moxie Games 4, the quest for peace. Thank you to our jugglers who traveled from as far away as Brazil, Norway, Germany, and Malibu. Right, and so until next time, be weird, have fun, and do more with less. More or less. Take care. See you soon.